A call to action in the middle of Ohio's housing crisis from the Ohio State House to the Office of Attorney General. We're going to have a lot of trouble getting those rents down if there's a lack of competition. State Senator Bill Blessing out of Colerain Township addressed price fixing identified across the nation when it comes to software company RealPage and multifamily unit landlords in regional housing markets. Think of these golf balls as your residence. A lawsuit out of Arizona cites this video on RealPage's website to lure landlords to work together and follow the company's price-setting algorithm. You can continually outpace the market in good times and bad. The attorney general states the landlords stop focusing on occupancy and turnover and instead push for rent increases. The net effect of RealPage's software pushing people out was an additional $10 million in income for one landlord. As long as all these landlords stuck together and didn't lower prices like a normal competitor would do, then they were going to be okay. The attorney general in Washington, D.C. says RealPage needs to pay up. Is to seek restitution from the landlords to create a fund that would be available for tenants who have been overcharged. More lawsuits filed in North Carolina, Washington State, Tennessee, but not Ohio. I would urge uh, the state attorney general, uh, Dave Yost, to join his national colleagues out of Arizona and North Carolina to consider doing that. When we asked the office of Attorney General David Yost about Senator Blessing's request, a representative sent me this email. Our office is aware of the allegations made against RealPage, and we are reviewing the matter to see if any Ohio laws were violated. If you do not have housing provider competition, you're not going to have rents coming down, which is what happens when you have competition.